birth to a baby girl, Fleming. Adeline was the happiest she could ever 37. Ten months after her husband's death, Adeline was driving on the road because of the snowfall, which caused her to crash into a ravine to life. And from that moment onwards, Adeline hasn't aged. Look, this is what magazines want us to believe, but it's not usually true. Two started looking like sisters, as Adeline didn't age. Adeline realized she cannot live with her condition. Hence, she moves to San Francisco of research. She acquires little to no information about her condition. Turning home, she is approached by FBI agents, who suspect her of being a Starting then, she has always been on the run, moving from appearance nor her health has changed since she was 29. Her daughter in seven weeks under a different name. On her 107th birthday, and there, she sees decades-old pictures of herself and reminisces. Adeline locks eyes with a handsome young man across the room, Nave, when Ellis joins her in the elevator. They introduce themselves, interested in her than she is in him. He awkwardly escorts her out, and her and daughter hug and have a happy conversation. Fleming tells Adeline and is nostalgic and wants to see her daughter in diapers again. The next day, and has brought her books as gifts. This time, he bravely asks a place she has never been before in San Francisco. Ellis accepts the shelf. She only mentions that she has a dog. Before leaving, Adeline an awful joke. In the following scene, Adeline goes to Ellis's apartment jazz music. Ellis tells her about his father, who is an astronomer, and this is somehow still getting creepier. In fact, he had first sought her to kiss, but Adeline pulls away, refusing to act on her feet, and asks her more about herself. His words overwhelm Adeline, and remembers the time a man was waiting for her on the same park bench. It's home to her dog, lying limp on the floor. She looks at an album with the pictures of dogs she has had over the years. This left her several voicemails which she didn't answer, so he went out of his way to figure out shouldn't have invaded her privacy. She leaves abruptly, after asking him to if for once. Go ahead, mom. Stalkers are cool. Adeline. Adeline takes him to a drive-in movie theater from the 60s. She then invites her for another date to his parents' house for their 40th anniversary. Kiki, on the way. When the three finally reach there, they are welcomed by Alice Sim, saying that her name is Jennifer. The two share awkward eye contact, hence, he is in utmost shock when Jennifer tells him Adeline Passaline. He was only 26 years old, and she was 29 when he the two quickly fell in love and traveled to America together. It is then loved him, but couldn't risk her secret being out. Back in the present, Ace lights up when he talks about her, and as he praises her, his wife Kathy Gunn, he reassures her that he loves her, and the two kiss. The dame winning streak on. As the family talks, Kiki says that the comet Willie holds her tears and continues playing the game with the family. She eventually be- A while later, Adeline goes out for a walk and is startled. Adeline also confesses that her mother loved him, no matter what, her in it. She smiles, but doesn't say I love you back. The Nellium notices a scar on Adeline's wrist that is identical to the one's hand is bandaged. He finally confronts her and asks her for the true reason she left him. William asks her if she will leave his son as well, still in the shower. As always, Adeline has decided to run away, so heartbroken to see the note. He gets dressed and asks William what he said. Nothing in life makes sense without her. Even though he hasn't known her for long, Adeline numerous times on his way, but she ignores all the calls. She pulls from life and realizes she loves Ellis too much to stay without him. Her body lies limp by the side of the road, and for the first time stops, just then, Ellis arrives there and performs CP administer 750 volts of electricity, similar to the one she had is in the hospital with Ellis. He apologizes for saying I love you to 107 years old. Upon hearing this, Ellis dumps her and meet happy couple living together. Adeline even has a new puppy that Fleming on her head. The movie ends as it is revealed that she has for watching.